So the um, first part of this question requires me to look at the subject, and the second part, um, which is on another page, simply says find the area in terms of x squared. So we'll do both. Of them. So um, in making x the subject, I want this a bit large out, so it's nice and easy to see. And we have x in two terms at the moment. So what we need to do is so take x out as the common factor. And we have 3 plus pi by 2. So we've simply taken x as the common factor. Now we need to move x to the other side, or we can move the 3 plus. Well, in fact, we don't want to move x to the other side, we want to get x as the subject with x on its own. So we're going to move 3 plus pi by 2 to the other side. And what we've got to realise here, this is just a number. So there's no different than sort of saying we have c equals a times b. So if I want to move this to the other side, it goes over by 3 plus pi by 2, and we've got the common factor equal x. So we now have x as the subject, so x equals p over 3 plus pi by 2. Now to find the area, go back to the um, shape in the area. Right, we can tell that A, B, B, C, and C, D are three sides of the square. So this will be x. So this part here will be x squared. We have been told that A, E, D, A, E, D is a semicircle of diameter A, D. So the, the area we need the radius of this um, circle, semicircle, so it's going to be pi over 2. So just to remind again that the area of a, a circle is pi r squared, so the area of the semicircle will be a half pi r squared. So we'll put in a value of r, so it's a half times pi times uh, pi over 2 here, mistake, should be x over 2. So we'll just live with that, x over 2, and it's going to be squared. So if we square the um, x, which is x squared, we square the 2 get 4, but we've got 4 um, times 2 as well. I'll, I'll write this out. And so it's a half times pi times x squared times not 2 squared, and we'll write that as 4. Okay, so that 2 squared 4. And then we simplify this to pi x squared or 8. So, the full area of the shape then will be x squared plus pi x squared over 8. We can take x squared out as a common factor. So a will equal x squared times, it would be 1 to get it as x squared there, 1 plus pi over 8. Now, 1 plus pi over 8, well, you can think of um, pi over pi has been equal to 1. Um, just think how I've got this. So 1 plus 1. No, the cross multiplier is just referred to it. So we're doing x squared. So it's 8 times 1. It is 1. So it's 8 plus pi. But you can leave it like that, to be honest. 1 plus pi over 8. Um, we could write it as 9 pi over 8. That would be 8. So 9. So yeah, 8, but in eighths, um, 8 pi, uh, uh, that wouldn't be right, I'll just leave it like that. So it's x squared times 1 plus pi over 8, we'll leave it like that um, for the moment. Um, yes, because this isn't in terms of pi at all, so um, we could write it, if it calculated, it would have that as 3.14, so it's around about 1 half, just under 1 half, but we'll leave it as 1 plus pi over 8.